Hmm. Whatever's through there, it seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? Bartrand is far more enthralled with this place than you are. Unlike him, I wasn't born in Orzammar. I wouldn't even be down here if there wasn't profit in it. This entire place gives me the chills. Let's hope it's worth it. Whatever we find, it might not be very pleasant. Hmm. I suppose we'll need to go down there to find out. You see what I'm seeing? Is that... Lyrian? It's definitely magic. And not the good kind. Doesn't look like any kind of Lyrium I've ever seen. Look at this, Bartrand. An idol made out of pure Lyrium, I think. Could be worth a fortune. You could be right. Excellent find. Not bad. We'll take a look around, see if there's anything further in. You do that. The door! Bartrand! It's shut behind you! <laughs> you always did notice everything, Varric. Are you joking? You're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol? It's not just the idol. The location of this tag alone is worth a fortune. And I'm not splitting that three ways. Sorry, brother. Bartrand! Bartrand! Well, I swear I will find that son of a bitch. Sorry, mother, and I will kill him. Oh, let's hope there's a way out of here. Oh! 
flames, what were those things? Harmed without need. You're the first one here that hasn't simply attacked us. They will not assault you further, not without my permission. What are these things? They seem like rock wraiths, but... They hunger. The profane have lingered in this place for ages, beyond memory. Feeding on the magic stones until the need is all they know. The Lyrian? That's what sustains them. I am not as they are. I am... a visitor. You're a demon feeding on their hunger. I can sense it. I would not see my feast end. I sense your desire. You seek to leave this place, but you will need my aid to do so. Don't do it. Demons will trip you up every time. Could be a way out of here. I don't know. What are our options? Why do we need your aid to leave? There is another door that leads into the paths far above us. That is what you seek. It has been sealed, however, and cannot be opened without a key. I know where the key is. Do as I ask, and I shall tell you. Hmm. So what do you think? We don't have much choice. Very wise. What part of demon did you not hear? You cannot ask me to deal with this monster. There is a crypt not far from here, guarded by a creature that has confounded me for too long. Slay it, and freedom is yours. What is this place? This is the vault. The dwarves would have brought there.
with it. Whew. The rock wraiths are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Looked pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. That is not yours. The key you require is in the chest. Leave all else, for it is mine. Psst. Not to uh, point out the obvious, but can you imagine what this stuff would be worth on the surface? You will not. It is mine, all of it. Take only the key, or I shall destroy you. You mind? Way ahead of you. Bianca says the treasure is ours. Let's collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> this we're back where we started. Looks familiar. And in only five days. Not bad, eh? Think we could take a break? I feel wrong. Let's make camp if you're sick. <laughs> I'll wager it was those deep mushrooms we found. No. It's... Carver! 
It's the Blight. I can sense it. Just like that Templar, Wesley. I'll be just as dead. Just as gone. That's just like you. Keeping this to yourself. I thought it was nothing. Hoped, anyway. Idiot. I'm not going to make it. Not to the surface. Not anywhere. It's getting worse. There might be something we can do. I stole the maps from a warden that had come to Kirkwall. I wanted to know if he was looking for me. He wasn't. The maps were for planning their own expedition into the deep roads. Does that mean the Grey Wardens are here? If the Wardens are here, I know where. We could bring Carver to them. And what? Become a Grey Warden? Is becoming a Grey Warden a cure? Yes, I suppose it is. But it's not without a price. One not everyone is willing to pay. What price? Make us breath, spit it out. The process of becoming a Warden is... unpleasant. And irreversible. It also means you might never see your brother again. He might survive the Blight, but at the cost of becoming a Grey Warden. It's not an easy life, trust me. What about you? You're not a Grey Warden anymore? You think I got away? Eventually they or the Circle will drag me back. I've got no illusions about that. Is this even possible? How does someone become a Grey Warden? I can't tell you. But it's not something you can undo once it's done. Even if you want to. This just keeps sounding better and better. They might agree to it, however. That's if we can find them in time. If there's even a chance, we must take it. Then I hope I'm right. Hmm. What's wrong? I think they're nearby. Or it could be Darkspawn. Fancy meeting you here, Stroud. I could say the same. Aren't you supposed to be dead? That's the rumor. But I didn't come here to swap stories with you. You mean, the boy as a recruit? Of course you do. I'm sorry. I know this comes as no comfort to you, but... We do not recruit Grey Wardens out of pity. It is no kindness. Carver happens to be a fine warrior. You'd be an idiot not to recruit him. Be that as it may, I cannot. Stroud, trust me when I say this one is worth your time. With the Blight over, you Wardens don't have recruits lining up. This is no simple thing, Anders. This may be as much a death sentence as the sickness, and you know it. He'll die anyway. Take him and try. I'm asking you. If the boy comes, he comes now, and you may not see him again. Being a Grey Warden is not a cure. It is a calling. Are you sure about this? I wish it hadn't worked out this way. We must move quickly, if we are to make the surface in time. Then... I guess this is it. Take care of Mother.
Home sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartran came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Revenge isn't exactly the most pressing thing on my mind right now. I know. I'm sorry about what happened to your brother. He'll make it. Carver's stronger than he thinks. I should have seen Bartran's betrayal coming. I'll find that maggot if it's the last thing I do. I imagine you'll be heading home to, uh, tell the family. I don't have much choice. You'll be a wealthy woman, Hawk. It wasn't all for nothing. Oh, my baby! You made it home! Carver is with you? No. Is he... coming back? I don't know. So the champion's brother was a Grey Warden. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? The involvement of the Grey Wardens makes perfect sense. And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that Warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world, literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount would take the notice. The Grey Wardens left Kirkwall. It was months before we learned Carter survived. Three years later, the Kunari still had a The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. The compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is... no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari... They sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. 
Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued. Behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Kunari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts? They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. I'm always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. Make... what a mess.